What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the news as you can see from the headline of this video. This is an Apple free zone. We're not talking about anything Apple. Let's jump into our first story. First story actually has to do with Samsung's folding phones. That's right, they're folding phones. And this is a, a render, not really a render, it's a, 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 a patent that they looks like they're going for for the, a, a potential upcoming foldable Galaxy phone. Let's check it out and let's talk about it. And this comes from Let's Go Digital and this is a super interesting phone. Basically is a, uh, a dual folding phone. So it folds on each side a little bit more on one side versus the other. And you can get it into some very interesting orientations. First of all, you see the ones right here, completely wide open, looks absolutely humongous. And then you can fold it in uh, both sides in and it becomes a little bit smaller, about half the size more or less, but it still uh, looks like a, a pretty big um, uh, device at that. And then you see the back of the device on the right here, what it looks like when it's folded. I don't know if, the, if, if when folded, if those devices, uh, screens on the back will still work, will be functional. Here's another one, and this is the uh, th the same phone, really, but it's different orientations that you can put on it. And this is where it gets a little bit interesting, because the first one you see on the left, you get a big display, which it looks off-centered. It looks almost like a triangle. I don't know if it would end up looking like that, but ultimately it looks like a laptop with uh, the keyboard at the bottom, and then a nice big display on the, on the top half of that. And you see it from the side as well where it would stand up and then you see it laying down. And there's some very, very interesting formations for this where this, if they can get it to look right and function correctly, that this could be a laptop replacement for their next foldable smartphone or tablet, whatever this would end up being. I, I, maybe this would be a phone, maybe it would be kind of smaller, a little bit bigger than what we have now with the Z Fold 2. But this is extremely, extremely interesting. Hopefully they don't keep those, uh, uh, little levers on the sides of it. Uh, that just looks uh, awfully ugly. Hopefully they put something in a case over it, which I would assume they would, so that you wouldn't see that. The future of foldables is like out of this world interesting to me. They're only gonna get better, thinner, and just better looking overall in every sense of the word. So we're at the beginning stages of this as time goes on. Just think five years from now, what these foldable devices are going to be and look like. You probably can't even imagine, at least I can. And then lastly, obviously today is Prime Day. Let's jump through a few of the things that I think are really cool. First one being the Blink Mini. This is a plug-in camera. It's a security camera. It's 25 bucks, or if you download the Alexa app or you have like an Alexa smart speaker, all you have to do, you can see right here when you order with Alexa, just say, Alexa, order a Blink Mini and it will order you one. You can get it for as low as 15 bucks. I love the Blink cameras, very simplistic, very easy to use, very easy to set up. They work great, I would definitely recommend it. The next one, Galaxy devices. There's a huge sale uh, going on, up to 30% off Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Uh, you can get their A71 or their S10, the A21, S25 G, or the Note 20 Ultra, all for really, really good prices right now. I'll link those down below if you wanna take advantage and get a new Samsung phone for a great price. Next, we have the Bose Quiet Comfort 35 Series 2s. I have these, I have them in silver. Love, love, love these, such good over-the-air headphones. They have uh, Google built into them so you can control your Google with it. 200 bucks, I bought mine for like 350 bucks. 200 bucks are so good for these headphones. Bluetooth, you can also use a wire. Noise, noise cancellation is amazing on these. These are excellent, excellent headphones. You will not be disappointed with those. Next up, the Fire TV Stick 4K for 30 bucks. You might even be able to get it cheaper. I've seen it for as low as $19.99 um, on here, so you can play with it a little bit, but ultimately, even at 30 bucks, very good uh, device to make your TV smart and uh, watch videos and play simple games on here if you want. I love the Fire TV Stick 4K, and it performs really, really well. Next up, the MyQ Smart Garage Door Opener. This actually be my last one. If you have a garage, I have the same one. 17 bucks, it's amazing. It works with your phone. You can open and close your garage from anywhere in the world. Uh, you can get alerts when somebody delivers, uh, if, you, if you want to, you can get uh, Amazon to deliver packages right inside your garage and they'll automatically close it for you too. Again, you don't have to do that part, but you do have the ability. The other part is it'll alert you when your garage has been opened and closed. 
I love this thing. Yeah, I'm so glad I got it. I think I got it for 25 when I bought it, but 17 bucks, complete no brainer. And it works uh, with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. So there you guys go. All those deals are linked down below. And uh, if you click on them and buy something, even if you don't buy that specific thing, you just shop through my link. Uh, I'll get a little portion of it because it's an affiliate link, helps out what I do. And uh, you're gonna get amazing deals as well, still with Amazon Prime Day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New video, uh, new videos every single day. Question out to you guys: What did you buy today on Prime Day? I actually have not purchased anything for a, a little bit. I was thinking I'm going to get the Galaxy Tab S6 because there's a deal going on with it for 500 bucks. Plus, if you have the Amazon credit card, you get an additional 25% cash back. So I'm thinking about that one for my son, and then sell his Galaxy Tab S4. But I'm like, ah. Eh. I don't know. He doesn't really need it at this point. He's tab as for all he does is watch videos and it still works great for doing that. So I think I'm going to wait on that. But again, I'll link that deal below as well if you want to take advantage of it. See you guys down the road.